So today we're going to talk about automatically setting the height of your tools. So either you have those expensive tool holders, adjusting the height of the tool can get really complex. If you have a smaller machine like this, where you need to change your tool every time and there is no tool holder option, either you have to manually change the tool every time and then go and set up the height of the tool again, which can get pretty complex, takes a lot of time and it might not even come out to be that accurate. So we'll initially start with a tool that's been calibrated to the height of the job. So we'll give a simple G0, Z0 command for the tool to come and touch the workpiece. But now if we try to replace the tool uh, with a different tool, uh, in, in this example, we're gonna just remove the, the tool and put it back again and pull it out, uh, out a bit so the height changes. And now if without any calibration, we just give the same command for going to the same height. So again, the MDA command, G0, Z0. You can see that the tool went all the way through. This would damage the job. So with the Masso's automatic tools or option, you can automatically calculate the height of the tool. You simply start off by positioning a touch plate on the machine bed at a fixed position and wiring up to the Masso as per the documentation given online on our website. Wire the connection to any of the 32 inputs we have on the Masso. So in this example, we are wiring up on input number 32. And now we will go to the F1 setup screen on Masso and go to input 32 and select that as the tool setter input. Now we need to define the position of the touch plate. So go to F3 screen and roughly position the tool in middle of the touch plate. Now copy the X and Y machine coordinates and these are the values we will need to, to set up automatic tool zero. Now go back to F1 screen, go to auto tool zero, make sure enable automatic tool zero and now assign the same values in the X and Y locations. Enter a Z safe distance. This is the distance that you would like to wrap it to the position where you know your tool won't be long enough hitting the tool setter. And finally put in the feed rate at which you would like to zero your tool. At the same time, it's a good idea to also enter the tool change position values. So these are the values where you feel comfortable most of the time, it's on the front of the machine where you would like to change the tool. So every time there's a tool change command, Maso will come on this location automatically, stop the spindle and then ask you to change the tool. Let's run a test program. So we've loaded this file and in this file, the, the controller wants us to load tool number three. And after changing the tool, press enter. Maso will automatically start the tool zero process. Come and touch the plate and start machining. So that was a quick video to give you an idea on how to set up and use the automatic tool zero feature. And with this feature, it becomes really easy to change and calibrate your tools. You can find more information on our website, hindtechnology.com. Thanks for watching.